Um, just to to follow uh, what Alfonso was saying, uh, which I fully endorse, is that maybe the main difference, and it's related to your question, Jane, is that uh, what we see in Latin America and also in, in the global south is that solid waste management and of course uh, a recycling it's a labor intensive uh, activity so it's the labor intensity that changed considerably from Europe or North America so um, what we know uh, from the past decade is that um, uh, the World Bank has said uh, several times that uh, at least one percent of the urban population is uh, is uh, surviving through informal recycling and the most recent uh, report from the ILO uh, that was launched uh, a couple of months ago uh, says that uh, there are 24 million people living out of recycling in the world and out of these 24 million 80 percent are informal recyclers. I mean the, the bottom line of those um, uh, of those uh, people working in the recycling chain are most of them uh, in the informal economy so um, it's important to understand that in Latin America the context is not different to other uh, parts of the global south. So we can have at least four to five million waste speakers that are providing the, the, um, the materials to the recycling chain, that are cleaning their cities and they are um, acting as uh, public service providers. So. Uh, um, the other thing which is also interesting uh, from what Alfonso just says is that um, you don't need uh, sophisticated uh, high technological systems that we have here in in US or in or in um, or in Europe in fact you have uh, the informal sector um, involved in at least 80 to 90 percent of everything that is recycling in Latin America. So we have uh, uh, numbers in Chile, in Uruguay, in Brazil where you can see that everything, almost everything that gets into the recycling uh, it's provided by the informal sector, it's provided by the waste speakers. So in fact the kind of contributions they are doing uh, it's enormous if we uh, if we look at the figures and the systems in other places and it's all about people and that's why um, that's why I want to, to, to say that from the beginning, it's about the social technology that involves, it's about the labor force that it's involved, and that's what we need to protect and understand. It's not just about uh, a technological solution, it's about a complex kind of, um, of, uh, of system that it's in place, involving informal workers, but also uh, uh, waste management um, uh, municipal systems. Perfect, yeah, um, uh, take a case in point of where I am now, Nicaragua. If you speak to the, uh, to the, um, the waste, uh, pe the waste, pe the intermediaries and the, and the exporters, they, they will tell you that 90% of the material that they, are, they capture comes from the informal system. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big contribution. And this is without uh, without a facilitating legal framework and without any significant investment in, in recycling. Yeah, it's just a self, uh, it's a self, uh, uh, it's self-invested. I mean, it's invested by the people. It's the only way they have to survive, so they are investing their whole life and their whole day uh, to provide the service. And something that is also interesting, if you read the UN Habitat publication that I, I think you were involved, Jane, in, uh, in 2010, yeah. uh, you can see the numbers. And Rotterdam is investing a lot of money in a very sophisticated recycling system, and it's just uh, reaching a 30% of, of recycling rate, while in Cairo or in Brazil or in other places, you can have more than double of, of that uh, number. So you can have 60% of uh, the materials that are recycled in Cairo are uh, are all done by the informal sector, so it's interesting to see that despite the fact they don't have investment, they have um, they, they they are able to uh, to increase the the. Re Something happened with this connection. Oh, okay. Lucy, are you back? <laughs> so, despite the fact that they don't have investment, yeah. yes. Oh, sorry, we lost despite you. that, despite that, sorry. Um, despite the fact, 
despite the fact no one is uh, investing in the informal sector, they are able to have at least twice uh, the um, twice the uh, the recycling rates that you can find in Rotterdam or here in in Boston or wherever <laughs> you can find uh, a sophisticated formal one. The, we have the same numbers in Mexico, in some, in some cities. Fifty percent of the total recycling materials are, are recycled in the formal sector. So, okay. in general, okay. the numbers are very good.